mysterious murder cases in our state. Who killed Abby Williams and Libby German in Delphi, Indiana? Four years later, their case is still unsolved. We have seen a picture of their killer, sketches, and even heard his voice. Even with more than 42,000 tips, no arrests have been made. Well, CBS 4's Lindsay Eaton sits down now with now retired investigators who worked that case and asks, what is it going to take to finally get a break in this case? Carroll County is 20,000 people in 380 square miles. Uh, all of Carroll County is just a small town to most of the world. Valentine's Day four years ago. It's the day that changed this small town. The girls had gone out because it was a beautiful day, 52 degrees as I recall in February. Abby Williams and Libby German, two best friends who took a walk on the Monon High Bridge Trail in Delphi. The girls never returned. Overnight, Thank you guys. Uh -huh. this missing persons case turned into a double murder. It was horrible. And, and, and those are things that uh, stay in your mind. The search for a killer started. Local and state police got to work. The FBI was called in. All resources were unleashed. We had so many officers working on it that the guys would, they give them sheets and in fact go find these people and interview them about where they were that day and so on. As detectives shortened their list, members of the FBI evidence response team like Kathy Guider spent hours examining any piece that could point to a potential suspect. You're using a fine tooth comb, you're using magnifying glass, you're using bright lights, you're using everything to find what you can to catch that guy. As the investigation intensified, we got our first look at the killer and even heard his voice. In 2019, police released a different sketch. A new face to focus on brought in new clues. Each day that went by, we just felt like that we were going to be closer and closer and closer. Jay Abbott spent 31 years in the FBI. He's worked on cases all over the world. He was the special agent in charge of the Indianapolis Division. I was so confident uh, at the initial beginning of the Delphi. Uh, case that we would be able to solve it uh, fairly easily uh, given all the evidence and information that we had. Somehow, four years later, this case still remains unsolved. I feel more things than I can really articulate. The exasperation and frustration is always there. From the beginning, investigators have insisted there are reasons why they can't share certain information. Many of the crime scene things of which we won't speak about that point uh, to more of a signature uh, that the killer left behind. All I can say is there is more information to be released, which should be no surprise to anybody. I don't think that's a secret. And I think that it would be a good idea if they did so, at least some of it. Robert Ives was the Carroll County prosecutor for 18 years. He went to the crime scene with what he saw there. He feels now that four years have passed and no arrest. Perhaps it's time investigators give out more on the case. I think every year that goes by or all the time that goes by, the, the less advantage there is to withholding the information and the more advantage there might be to releasing it. But again, I'm not claiming to be an expert on that subject. I think maybe releasing another clue to the public could be what it takes for someone to make the connection. Because it might be that some of that other information would uh, ring a bell to somebody to the help, let them help with the case. We've stared at the picture, watched his every step as he's walked across the bridge, and we've played the clip of those three words over and over. Down the hill. Down the hill. Still, we don't know who this man is. I just feel very confident there's somebody out there uh, that knows something about this, and for whatever reason, they're afraid to come forward. I'm her best fiance. Yeah. In Delphi, Lindsay Eden, CBS 4 News. Now, if you know anything, anything at all that could help investigators, call the tip line at 844-459-5786. There is a reward of more than $200,000 in this case.